hello warriors how are you all doing welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Shion Obisheson and if you are a return viewer thank you for coming back so today I'm going to talk about how to gain your identity talking about identity identity is about you as a person before you become a student a mother a wife a husband who are you as a person yourself before every other thing personal identity is how you see yourself not how other people sees you what are the things that you know that you understand that you have accepted you are accepting or that you will accept about yourself personal identity is how you carry your own beliefs, your personal beliefs. Like some people might see you as a talker or a quiet person, but what do you see yourself as? Personal identity involves you understanding your emotions, you know, your mental well-being, your psychological being, your physical being. What are the things that people will do that get you upset on an on a scale of 1 to 10, if someone didn't return your call, how upset will you be? Who you are as a person is about your identity. That's your identity. And it could be as easy as what is your name? What is the meaning of your name? Do you like your name? Have you accepted your name? Where are you from? Do you like where you're from? You know, what are the things that you think you could change about you? Do you like your parent? Have you accepted your parent? Because sometimes personal identity could be distorted based on the past. You are not accepting the upbringing that you've had. So it's really hard to connect with who you are you know personal identity is about understanding who you are before you become the ceo of so 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 before you become mother of you know many children who are you letting go of your qualifications your marital status your ed you know a lot of things that you have achieved who are you as a person there is no point in um, pouring clean water in a dirty water. Have you filtered yourself? When you understand and accept your identity, then you can work on personal development. A lot of people, you will hear them say, oh, my name is so, but you can call me this. Why? You don't like your name? Or you don't want to be associated with that name or that tribe. Who are you? Who are you as a person? Sit down like the simple questions that I just uh, mentioned earlier. My son, like basic stuff. What is your name? You know, what is the meaning of your name? Have you accepted your name? There's a possibility maybe you were born in Nigeria, you were born in Uganda, and then you relocated to a different country. And all of a sudden, because people couldn't pronounce your name, Uluwa Shion, or Shion for short, that's my name, you decided to say your name is, you know, something else. So it would be easier for people who don't have your mother tongue to pronounce your name. Why? And let's say your name is, you have an English name. It's understandable. That's your name. But why would you change your name because of other people? If you want to change your name because of you, then it's you. Why would you say, call me this, so that it would be easier for other people to accept you? It's like making people to accept your identity. You haven't accepted yourself. And that's why a lot of youth struggles because of loss of identity. 
It's not about you don't have an identity. Everybody have an identity. But you cannot express what you don't accept. So you have to accept you for you to present yourself to people. And of course to present yourself to yourself. How often do you get angry? How often do you get broken? You know, things like that are why you need to understand your identity. There are a lot of features that we have as human beings. Like um, some we have small ears. If you look at my ears, it's pointing up. I have the same ears like my grandfather, my, you know, paternal grandfather. So if someone comes to me and say, oh, look at your ears, they're so big. What do you want me to do about my ears? I've accepted my ears, although some people have small ears. I'm not trying to condemn or body shame. I'm using myself as an example. I've accepted who I am. Nobody will come to me and say, oh, you look ugly, because I don't. These are one of the most important things why you need to accept who you are as a person. So that every utterances, every negativity that is, you know, altered to you will not bring you down. No one can call me ugly, like, and I'm going to go home and cry. Definitely not. Apart from the fact that I'm beautiful on the outside, I'm not, you know, bragging now. But there are a lot of things about me. I'm still developing myself as a person, I know. But there's a lot of fictions about you. There are a lot of things about you that are so beautiful that other people don't have. There are things that you have as an individual that nobody on this earth have. The level of your patience, how accommodating you are, how you embrace other people's success. Some people don't have that. Some people, when, when they are praying towards something or looking um, forward to achieving a particular thing, the moment their friends or their relatives, you know, achieve that thing, they don't know how to celebrate them. They get angry. That's a gift. You embracing people when they are successful, regardless of you having that item or not. You don't know what you have. So sometimes we focus on the physical things that we have, or sometimes we focus on the things we don't have, most especially and then we lament and, you know, complain because of the things we don't have. We never, you know, sit down for a while and think, I think when people are having issues, they come to me. They normally don't call me, but they come to me when they have issues. When people are having misunderstanding, they come to me. When people are looking for information, they come to me. Why do they come to you? Sometimes when they are celebrated, they might not come to you because um, they just wouldn't think of you. But when they are down and frustrated, they think of you. That's something. That's something you, money can buy that. So that's part of your identity, who you are, regardless of material things or anything that you've achieved. Your identity when you accept yourself, then you can present yourself. And accepting yourself doesn't necessarily mean other people will accept you for who you are. But because you've accepted yourself, whatever that people throw at you, you'll be able to kind of take the one that you need and throw back the ones you don't need. We learn every day. When people throw something at you, you take it if it's valuable. If it's not valuable, you throw it back at them and that's life. But if you don't accept yourself as a person, if you don't know who you are, you know, you swallow everything. And you could get contaminated because you swallow everything. Can I just say something to you? You cannot control people's utterances towards you. You cannot control people's behavior towards you. What you can control is your emotions of how you receive things. You don't need to have a fight with everybody that, you know, is not in line with you. No. What you have accepted is what is the most important thing, not what 
people think of you. I haven't said that. When you accept yourself, then you can focus on personal development. Even though we develop, you know, we get better by the day, God help us, and people are saying something, it might be constructive criticism. And when you've accepted yourself, you'll be able to say, oh, maybe I need to develop myself in this area. Maybe I don't listen um, very well. Maybe I need to, you know, take things slow to be more patient. You will know that yourself when you've accepted yourself. So this is just from me to you because there is no point in, you know, consuming a lot of teachings, a lot of, you know, content. If you don't accept who you are, nobody can accept you for who you are if you don't accept yourself. And the fact that you are on a path or you are on a journey doesn't mean everybody will be in line. We accept you and that journey. Some people are the most closest people to you, but they will never accept whatever thing that you're doing at the moment because they don't see that vision. It's your vision. You are the one walking your path. And then how will you be able to kind of, you know, buckle yourself up when things fall apart if you don't accept who you are as a person? Accepting your identity will make you understand your strengths and your weaknesses. When you are doing something, when you're doing a project, you'll be able to kind of focus more on your strength and assess your weaknesses because your weakness is someone else's strength. So if two strengths come together, come on. That would be so great. So accept you. Talk about, you know, simple things, the foundation of your being. When your parents gave you your name, you can you don't have control of that. You were not old enough to say, no, I don't don't name me Olua Shem, name me um, you know, Maria. No, because they name you based on well, Yoruba side, what they went through, what they were going through, what happened during your, you know, your pregnancy and your birth, I believe. So embrace your foundation. Because if your foundation is faulty, you can lay any layers on, on a faulty foundation. So embrace yourself. Accept who you are. Understand who you are. So you'll be able to stay in your lane and be contented with your present situation, with things that you have, with the features that you have, with your gift. You'll be contented because you've accepted yourself. You'll not be getting upset because someone else just buy a new car. You'll not be getting upset because someone just buy a house. You'll not be getting upset because someone, you know, have a lot of items because you are contented. You know yourself. You know what you want. You're working on your part. You will not get up. You will be able to celebrate everybody regardless of if you have the item or not. Because what completes you is not the material things. What completes you is inside of you and nobody can take that away from you. But you need to fix your mindset about yourself, about your life, to be able to acquire the things that you need to move further. Till I come your way again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, Warriors.